Alright, what's up YouTube? Today I'll be giving y'all the best point guard build in NBA 2K20. So you're going to do this pie chart right here with the most uh, defense and playmaking in it. And your pie chart that you can do is either any one you want to do. Personally, I like... What did I do? I, I think I picked this one. You get 70 strength. And I think this is the most balanced, but I mean... You could go for this one right here. And I'll go with this one because speed is pretty good. Um, just max this stuff out. Max that out. Um, you can max out your three-point shot, all your shooting and stuff. And when it comes to your defense, max out. We're going to go to just max that out. Now, what you're going to do is you want to shave off your block shave your block down to a 55 shave your rebounding down shave both of your rebounding down and shave it and bring it to a 69 and bring that to a 60 so this is your defense, what you should probably have. And now you got 34 upgrades left. You put that on that, and then you come over here, and you could take this stuff off. It all depends on how you want to make your build. Um, if you want to have 12 finishing badges, because your finishing badges and your shooting badges only go up to gold, your playmaking and your defense go up to Hall of Fame. Um, so it's all self-explanatory on how you want to do it um you could bring that up and bring that up to six but these last ten upgrades are what you want to do with your build you could bring another one and bring it up to 70 defense so you get pretty much five hall of fame badges and your playmaking gets five hall of fame badges um but I think with these last nine, I'll just put them on post moves so I get better um, playmaking badges. Now your height, you don't want to bring him down to f under 6'3". Um, you want to bring him up to at least 6'4 or 6'5". Because when you go up to 6'6", six, six, you take big hits on a lot of stuff. Um, but I think with this build, 6'4 is the best. And then your weights, you could do pretty much anything you want to do with your weight. But I think the best way to go is probably 195. I think this is like the standard. 195. Now your wingspan is what you want to do with your wingspan. Um, I think the best for your wingspan would be probably this one 82.4 because you do take a hit on mid-range and stuff but your ball handle is still at an 86 and you could speed boost still now with your takeover it's all what you want to do with it um for mine I did lockdown and he's easy clamps so that's your two-way slashing playmaker. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, comment, rate, share, and subscribe.